Hey, welcome back. In this lesson, I'll move on to the more advanced components and I'll show you the drop downs. So using drop downs is very easy. You got to start with the div class drop down. And inside you have two components. The first one is the button or the link which will trigger the drop down. And the second one is the drop down itself, the menu. So let's start with the button. So I'm going to say, I'm going to add a button here with a class of BTN and an additional class of drop down toggle. The type is going to be button. I'm going to give it an ID of DD menu or drop down menu. And then, very important, this is what will make the drop down work. Data toggle is going to be drop down. Okay. And inside, I'm just going to say, drop down. Okay, so let's see it. And there it is. You can also add uh, a small arrow. So span with a class of caret. This will add an arrow down. Now for the menu, we will start with an unordered list with a class of drop down menu. For role, we're going to say menu again to help with accessibility. And then we're going to have a list item with a role of presentation. Again, this is optional, but if you can use it. And inside the list item, we're going to have an anchor tag. href is going to be nothing. Role is going to be menu item. And we're going to set a tab index of minus one. And that will prevent this link from being accessed by tabbing. And I'm going to say, list item, list item one, or list item. Okay, now I'm just going to copy this a bunch of times. And I'm going to refresh and click on the button. And there it is. That's the drop down click outside to close it. You can add dividers to various elements. So for example, I can add a list item here. Actually, I'm just going to copy and paste it. And I'm going to add a class of divider to it. And of course, it doesn't have any content. And there it is. You can also disable a specific element by adding the class of disabled to a list item. So this is the first one, refresh. And now the first item is disabled. You can also add cool headers to your list item. So if you want to separate this drop down, you can add the following. So list item with a role of presentation, I'm going to add the class of drop down header. And for the content, I'm just going to say a header. And I'm going to add the same right here. I'm going to say another header. So there it is a header and another header. Now, if you want, you can alter the appearance of this button. So by adding a BTN class, so BTN default will generate this. Yeah, a BTN primary will generate this, and so on and so forth. You can also use this type of drop down inside nav bars, inside uh, tabs, pills, and so on. And that's basically it about drop down menus. Next up, since I mentioned uh, tabs and pills, I'll show you how to use these two components.